If you want to stand out in your marketing, in your life, in your relationships, those kinds of things, it's important to understand one key aspect of how the brain works, which is this concept of recency and primacy. All right. So what does that mean? So recency means that people tend to remember, remember best the thing that is most recently that they most recently experienced. Primacy is the exact opposite. If a person is asked to remember a bunch of things, they tend to remember the first thing and recency. In other words, people tend to remember the first and the last thing they see when they have a group of options presented to them. Recency, primacy. So I'll just give you the, the, the way I discovered this when I was a uh, sophomore in high school, I went to an American Legion contest where we spoke about the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. And then there was an extemporaneous round where you walked in, they handed you one of the bill, one of the pieces of the bills of Bill of Rights, and you had to prepare a speech about it and present it in three minutes. Unfortunately, for all the judges, they had to listen to, I don't know, 60 different high school kids all talk about the element of the Bill of Rights that says if you commit a crime in one state and you cross state lines into another state and, and how all that works, which is about as exciting as a, for a judge to experience as watching paint dry. And it was. Turns out. I was the last person to speak. I took first place. Guess who took second place? The first person who spoke. Guess who took third place? The second person who spoke. I saw that and I went, hmm, there's something here. So I went and I started asking people who knew what was going on and one of them a business teacher, as a matter of fact, said, hey, recency primacy, that's exactly what just happened. Okay, so the principle that the people tend to remember and focus most on the first thing they hear and the last thing they hear. And let me give you one other example of this. So how oftentimes have you ever been to like a three-day conference? As part of that three-day conference, the thing they, they, at the end of it, they say, what did you learn? What are the key takeaways? And what you'll find is Almost all the key takeaways come from one of the last two presentations made. It's just the way the human being works. So how about if we use this in our marketing, in our sales, in our relationships, everything else? Okay, so I'll give, I'm going to give you some examples of times when this applies, just in case you are needing more examples. All right. So first one, I already mentioned a contest in the speaking contest that I already mentioned is a great thing. So anytime you're involved in any kind of a contest situation, you want to try to manipulate. Let's not say that because that sounds evil. You want to try to be one of the either the first or the last in the stack of things that people see that will help you incredibly. Next. Let's take what we just talked about, about an event, speaker lineup. If you want everyone to remember you, you don't want to be the third speaker on day two. You want to be the first speaker on day one, the last speaker, or the next to last per, per speaker on day three. That's where you want to be in that lineup. And uh, very frankly, I'd rather take after lunch, the killer time, the death time on day three, then take any other time on day two. So speaker lineup, you want to be remembered? Try to be on that first or last day. How can this also apply? So a conference, hey, a summit totally applies in those situations. All right, here's one. When you do, when you, let's say you've got a product and it's a $2,000 product. So you've got like six bonuses, all right? So use recency and privacy in your order of bonuses. So take the single most important bonus, the one that will cause people to buy your product just to get that bonus. And that's the last one you present. The second most popular one, that's the first one you present. 
and everything else goes in between and you try to do that in some kind of logical order so you can build a stack appropriately but take and make, make sure that no matter how else you structure that stack the the most important one the thing that is going to cause people to buy most is the last one the second most important one is the first one because they're going to tend to mush out every bit everything in between and totally forget them another one that some of you may be involved in is investor pitches so they're they're oftentimes uh, contests where it's a, like a business plan competition or something like that, where you're going and you're presenting to a group of investors your your different plans. Well, try to be first, try to be last, or close to last in that in that equation. <laughs> Here's what: city council meetings or uh, board of supervisor meetings or school board meetings. You want to come in and make it and make a point. Be first or last. That's really important if you want them to pay attention, because trust me, I've sat through some city council meetings. Everything's mush all the way through the middle of it. People are looking forward to get out. You're the last one. Show them that. Um, applications. If you ever have to apply for a job or something like that. Here's one of the things I've learned in doing a lot of job, job application things lately, uh, where I've been seeing other people's job applications and trying to decide who to give interviews to and those kinds of things. It is astounding the percentage of those applications that are going to come in in the last two hours of the last day. And here's what happens. When you put a job proposal out, the first one or two resumes that come in, you're so excited that someone is interested in the job that you read those and you pay a lot of attention to them. I personally, if you are interested in a job and a job app, job uh, posting comes across, get on it right that minute. Get that one of the very first things that they see. Trust me. It'll be hard to be the last one because everyone is going to be delivering last time. Last one. They're not doing that because of recency and privacy. They're doing it because of procrastination. And so it's going to be difficult for your thing to be seen last. So be first. Get there right out of the gate. Gift giving. We use this with my kids on Christmas all the time. Okay. We want to make sure that that first gift that they give is something they'll really like. The last gift that they get is something they really like and the clothes that's in between. So it works there too. And by the way, recency primacy, I'm going to show you the last one. And I saved a very important one for the last one because I want you to remember it. As you are selling your products and you're giving people a list of features and benefits that they should pay attention to, make sure you put your most important ones first and last so that they'll remember them. One final comment in regards to all this. All of this, recency primacy works the most when everything is just about e equal. Sometimes we don't have the ability to control where we fit in that stack, as well as even if we can control where we fit in that stack, you should always work to try to be unique and memorable. So to go back to that original story, that high school, someone's, someone commits a crime and crosses state lines, how does that work? One of the reasons why I came in first in that is because I didn't choose someone shoplifted and then I chose a wild, wacky crime. I can't, I'm sure it was not stealing an aardvark, but it was something like that, that as I, as I presented it, I watched all the faces of all the judges in the audience crack up because of the particular crime that I had chosen. So choose something to be slightly different. By the way, I just see Susie Nelson just posted something about Clubhouse. This works on Clubhouse too. So if, so if you come into a Clubhouse room and you're the first person to give a tip or the last person to give a tip, you're going to be remembered more than others who are there. Now, there is a factor that the attendance tends to, to wax and wane throughout a Clubhouse uh, session uh, room, sorry, but that's another place where all this applies. So 
think about this. How can you start just subtly changing the way you present information to take advantage of this concept of recency and primacy in your life and your business? Let me know what I missed in the comments. Let me know of times where you've used this principle in your own business to help you. I'd love to hear about any other ideas that you've got. This is Don Crowther saying, just go do this stuff. Mm -hmm.